Although this movie is also about six years old, this isn't a film that was on my list of things that I haven't talked about yet. This was actually a film I never gave an opportunity until very recently. I want to say I watched this maybe two weeks ago for the first time ever. And it was just something that I just never gave a chance to. Like, it's like, all right, I want to preface this. I love the Waynes Brothers. I love almost everything that they put out. However, it does get a little bit too much. You know, like when they stopped doing the, the scary movie series, I stopped giving a shit because after that it just became obnoxious. But almost all of their comedies are really, really good, like A Haunted House, the one and two with Marlon Wayans. I thought those were great. I love anything they did in the 90s. I'm a huge fan of things like um, Money Talks and Blank Man. Anything that has to do with a Wayne's brother, I have found a love for and an appreciation for. I just didn't give this a chance. I don't know why I just didn't like the idea of just, what's the storyline? He wakes up naked in an elevator, and then he, to me... He just runs around naked trying to figure out how he got there. That's what I thought the movie was about. However, this movie is sort of one of those films that's in the same light as Groundhog's Day, uh, Happy Death Day, Edge of Tomorrow, all these films that kind of are the day, the, say, the day repeats over and over and over again. And essentially, there's no real drama to it. It just it repeats for him at the same time. So every day at like 2 o'clock, he winds up or this particular day, while he's living this day, whenever it hits two o'clock, it reverses back and he wakes up in the elevator naked. So it takes a long time for him to figure out why he's there and what's going on. And the whole premise is that he's it's his wedding day and he's getting ready for it. And he has his quote unquote bachelor party the night before, which, you know, sort of sounds like it's setting up a hangover movie. But let's just say this is sort of hangover meets, you know, Groundhog's Day. Because what he's trying to do is he's trying to figure out what happened to him because he thinks that's going to be what breaks the cycle. And he gets closer to the idea and he figures out more and more little by little as he's trying to solve the day because he essentially only has like two or three hours to do anything. So he keeps like reliving the day over and over again so he can kind of find out more and try new things and see what it, what, what it would be that he can do to kind of escape this cycle he's in. And... It's it's not like a runaway story. You know, I'm not going to say it's the best Wayne's movie of all time. I'm going to say it's unique. But then again, when you look it up, it's also based on, I believe, a Swedish, um, a Swedish film that did something similar. So this one's called Naked, and I believe the other film is called Naken, which I guess is naked in Swedish. So I read that, and I also uh, had read that it was actually... Uh, very, you know, critically well received for the most part. Like a lot of people really do love this sort of idea of, you know, the, the repetitive days. You know, I happen to find an appreciation for them. I loved what they did with the Happy Death Day series. I love Groundhog's Day. Like who doesn't love Groundhog's Day? I loved the episode they did in Supernatural. That is the exact same thing. And, you know, when you think about it just being one of these basic stories like that, it's it's a good movie. It's it's a good principle to follow, especially when you consider it's got a Wayne's brother attached to it. You know, Marlon Wayne's is hands down one of the best ones, and he's one of the youngest ones, and he's still going strong after a lot of them have kind of stepped out of the limelight. Like you really don't see a lot of Damon. You don't see Sean like ever. I feel like the last thing I saw Sean in was one of the scary movies movies, and. Keenan Ivory Waynes really doesn't do anything. Like you see Damon pop up every so often, but Keenan Ivory Waynes and Sean, they don't do anything. Including the sister. The sister doesn't do anything either. I forget what her name name is off the top of my head. But they're also like there's nine of them. There's nine Wayne siblings, and Marlon is the only one going strong. And you would think they would at least pop up in his movies, because why not? You know, why don't you do like a Stallone thing or an Adam Sandler thing? Just keep throwing your all of your siblings into these movies. Like, why not? I think that would be great. But maybe they just don't want to do them anymore and they want to leave Marlon to kind of his own devices. And, you know, I want to say he's doing a great job. He's sticking with the comedy role. You know, he's not really being typecasted at all. I wouldn't mind even seeing him in something a little bit more serious, like maybe like The Sixth Sense, which was sort of this comedy, uh, what's what's it called? The dramedy, you know, a drama comedy. And The Sixth Sense is a fantastic movie from the 90s. And it just shows that, you know, sometimes... Marlon Wayans can do roles outside of comedy, but the majority of his movies over the last 10 years is all comedy-orientated, and this is one of them which, 
you know, it's good. I'm not going to say it's not good. It's good. 